Hey guys, today I wanted to give you an experience review of Android Lollipop 5.0 on the Nexus 7 2012 because in my opinion it breathes new life into this old tablet which wasn't even usable for me anymore. Just so you can see we have Android Lollipop and we have all the goodies with that. We have the lock screen, the lock screen notifications, I just don't have any notifications right now. We have the double swipe, we have this new quick settings tray, we have the settings. We can also quickly go and see. We have 5.0. It is an AOSP source build ROM. It's the very first that came out. I had to try because I wanted to see if I could actually use this tablet again because I wasn't just able to. It is possible. And just real quick, if we can check the performance, and I'm absolutely surprised by this. As you can see here, this is super smooth. Uh, really nice for such an old device. If we go into it, you can see. Of course, it's not the most snappy one. We only have one gigabyte of RAM, so there is always a delay in everything you will do sometimes. And the more apps you will have to open because it's still a fresh system. I freshly rebooted it, so it's still holding up a bit better. As, as you can see right now, it has a little bit of... Sometimes it has these certain moments where it has to catch up. After all, it is just one gigabyte of RAM. But otherwise, it does a quite fine job and it's almost better than some of the new devices running only on KitKat or maybe on Jellybean. This is okay. Can't really complain. It renders stuff real quick. The multitasking sometimes, as you can see here, needs a little bit of time to switch to an app or get back to an app. And as I told you, the more you will be running, the longer it can take. But it's still absolutely acceptable. Of course, it's no flagship level of any new device, but it is good. We also get all the goodies. We have the no disturb mode. We have, we can see the battery life here. Like I said, all the goodies you get. This is, I think, Nova Launcher again, because I really don't like the Google Now Launcher that much, but it is there. So another thing I wanted to show you is the rendering issue I had on Lollipop and it is also on the Nexus 9. I didn't mention it there because I wasn't sure if it's a device specific thing or Lollipop, but it is Lollipop. As you can see here, the site is loaded and it is working smooth and you can see this is really smooth. So let's switch the tab and as you maybe saw, this site is also already finished. But every time I will switch, you see this re-rendering. And you could say, yeah, it's only one gigabyte. It tries to save memory. Yeah, but the same thing, exact same thing happened on the Nexus 9. Only it was a bit more fast, a bit faster there. But still, the re-rendering happens every time. Sometimes a little bit less obvious than the other times. But still, it happens. I hope they will fix this because I still think it is a little bit annoying. But in overall the performance, let's quickly check Google Plus because that's actually one thing I'm really surprised to see how well it works. Of course, take the gigabyte of RAM into the consideration. The app was already loaded, but sometimes it has really... Look at how smooth this runs. Of course, it lags a little bit sometimes, but for such a quite old device, this is absolutely fine. So if you have the Nexus 7, Wait for the OTA or flash the ROM yourself. There are better ones already out there with Super User and BusyBox, so you can use them out of the box with the Google Apps. Mine right now, the, the one I had, even overwrite, overrode my recovery and I had to reflash it again, but no real big issue. It's definitely worth it because right now I can actually use this one again. It is just my secondary tablet at my nightstand, but like I said, performance is way better than ever before. App switching, of course, isn't that great because you see the delay and so on. But it is not the snappiest one, but performance is quite good. All the new features like the do not disturb mode, the quick settings, the whole new look you get, material design and everything. This looks way better than before. So Nexus 7 with Android Lollipop, better than ever before. And if you have one, I can definitely recommend you to upgrade to this system and enjoy it. Okay, this was my experience review of Android Lollipop on the next 7 2012. I hope you liked it. And if you liked the review, you know what to do. Until next time, bye.